Good morning, how are we doing? We are on week eight. Don't know why I put up the two sign there, we're on week eight of my photo shoot. It's getting a bit hard, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would be lying if I said it wasn't getting hard. My output's pretty high, my food is pretty low. Feeling like your energy levels are kind of starting to dip a wee bit, but we keep pushing. We've still got about 11, 12 weeks left. I'm seeing changes week in, week out, feeling leaner week in, week out. So this is when we keep the head down, stay consistent and always keep the, the end goal in sight. Get five 40 minutes stay at master sessions to do basically every morning. So I just do them Monday to Friday and I've got 12,000 steps to hit every day. I've also got my five weight sessions and then I'm on 2,000 calories each day. So it's a big one. This is a big photo shoot that I've been preparing for. Never done this before in my life. So this is the one that's going to be getting me in like the proper best shape I've ever been in. Whenever things get tough, remember the reasons why you got started and always, always have the end goal in mind. Quarter to six this morning. I'm always up at this time, roughly about in between five and six, any time I'll be up. I'm just not a night person. I'm one of these guys that likes waking up early in the morning, getting shit done. I like doing stuff when I know that a lot of people are in bed sleeping. I don't know why, but it just mentally sets me apart, puts me in a good mindset knowing that everybody's in bed right now and I'm up about to go and walk upstairs that don't actually lead you to anywhere for 40 minutes. <laughs> the usual applies, literally just first thing I consume is just a black coffee, an Americano. It means that I'm still in a fasted state, the black coffee is virtually zero calories so it's just good to elevate my heart rate before my cardio sessions, get a better sweat on and then I'm going to check in with you and I'll show you how I'm looking post cardio because I'm feeling feeling leaner since the last time that we checked in I think the last time I checked in was maybe when I uploaded like a couple of weeks ago so yeah things have progressed, things have came along since then as you can probably tell by my face I look dead <laughs> as well but we're hanging on, we're surviving Honestly, look like I'm on death's door whenever I finish cardio. Look at this state of me, man. But this is how I'm currently looking. <laughs> Woo! Cannot describe the feeling of going in there, bashing it, getting a massive, massive sweat on, coming out, still super early in the morning, feels fucking fantastic. But I'm really, really happy with the way that things are progressing. I feel like definitely this is the best that I've looked to date. I'll compare what I was looking like eight weeks ago, so about two months ago. I'll leave that on the screen here, here. It was what I was looking like week one, and obviously you just seen what I was looking like at week eight, and I've still got about ten weeks left to go, which is making me excited. I feel like I was getting to a point and being like, oh, I'm not really making that much progress, and I'm not going to be ready, and I'm not going to have enough time, and with those, that's just like diet brain kicking in, see when those negative thoughts start to kick in, like, everybody's telling you how when you're looking, but you just can't see it. That is why check-in pictures are so, so crucial, so important. I actually did a post about this on Instagram the other day, so if you haven't followed me already go over to my instagram check that post out they are so crucial because it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror and see that you're making changes because you're just constantly going to be negative yourself body dysmorphia creeping in it's when you look at the check-in pictures and be like okay shit i'm actually making very very good progress yeah i'm pretty buzzing man i feel happy i feel happy 10 weeks left to get into the best shape of my fucking life and anybody that's watching this i know there's some people some people have commented like they're going through a photo shoot as well or a bodybuilding show or they're dieting getting ready for summer or anything whatever you are doing keep going all right i know shit seeing everybody out enjoying themselves and going out for food and having banging scrans and going out for drinks it'll be worth it it will be so so worth it in the end when you're in the best shape that you've ever been in you're feeling amazing you're feeling confident everything else in life just falls into place and that's when we can reward ourselves so keep going whatever it is that you're doing Okay, meal one, breakfast really changes if you've watched my channel for a while now always the same bagel breakfast it leads me on nicely to what I was going to touch on, but see when it comes to fat loss and weight loss, 
you don't need to eat specific foods. So you'd be probably look at this breakfast kind of bagels that I make and think, or oh, shouldn't you be having like porridge or oats instead? See, to be honest, I don't really like oats. <laughs> I don't like oats, so guess what? I'm not going to eat them. You don't need to eat things because they've been labelled by like the fitness industry as being like the healthy food or the food to, to lose fat. Things like oats or chicken and rice. Like, I like chicken and rice. You don't need to eat it 24-7 to lose fat. And I don't mean like go and eat what you want, obviously, like go and pig out and binge. I don't mean that, but this breakfast, getting good protein, getting good fats from the eggs, Bagels, simple kind of carb sauce, so I'm eating it, alright, deal with it. I, I've actually changed my mind, I'm going to change it up a wee bit, so I'm just going to have a breakfast quesadilla, so I'll show you how to make it. I was just thinking, so my carbs are fairly low, I'm on 200 grams of carbs a day, which isn't a lot. The bagel thins have 50 gram of carbs, so it's like basically a good chunk of it up already, so I'm just going to stick with a wrap today, have a kind of lower carb breakfast, and I will show you how to make it, because... I'm the goat, I'm the goat of cooking scrams, I'm the goat of breakfasts, anything, anything, I am the scram done. Bah. Okay, here is the ingredients you're going to need, so a wrap, two eggs, this light cheese slice, honestly this has been a lifesaver on my diet. There's only 30 calories in this, 30 calories and only 2 gram of fat, it's class. And then four bacon medallions. If you don't get bacon medallions in your country, it's virtually just like bacon kind of rashers, but with all the fat cut off. So it kind of till, till, it kind of still tastes like bacon and there's only like 60 calories in two slices and about 10 gram of protein so the macros are solid! There you have it, breakfast quesadillas cut absolutely horrendously, my OCD is going mental, I cut them the wrong way and I've been left with a bit like this. But yeah, that's what it looks like, looks pretty tasty, bacon, egg and cheese, breakfast quesadilla. On with the breakfast quesadillas, I take my supplements. This pill box comes in really handy if you're going to IBF, I mean taking regular supplements, like myself. Yeah, I take vitamin D because we don't see the sun, omega oils because I don't eat fish. Vitamin K, couple of electrolytes just for hydration and electrolyte things, and two alpha men supplements is just vitamins and minerals pretty much. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna do check-ins with my online clients, and then I will see you at meal number dos, the pre-workout meal. Check-ins are finished and it's time for the pre-workout meal. Now, I'm in a bit of a mad rush, so I kind of need something really, really quick and easy. So, we're literally just going to go with one of these layered My Protein bars. They are absolutely sensational. Code done at the checkout for a naughty, naughty discount. All the macros in these bars are absolutely brilliant, by the way. There's 200 calories per bar. 20 gram of protein, only 1 gram of sugar and less than 5 gram of fat, that is not bad. Yeah, you can see here from the picture that it's like a cookies and cream one, so it's kind of like an Oreo one. But there's like cake in the middle, then there's like a biscuit base. Oh, it is so, so tasty. Focus, focus, focus on the dawn. Yes, I. Here we go. And then I'm literally just going to have four salt and vinegar snack jack rice cakes. See, if you are in a diet, I cannot stress enough. A calorie deficit hack is these salt and vinegar rice cakes. Or literally any flavour, I've got so many different ones like caramel ones, cheese and onions, salt and vinegar. I cannot stress enough how good rice cakes are. These are slightly bigger ones, so there's like 40 calories in these ones, but usually for a rice cake there's like a good 20-25 calories in it. And they taste exactly like salt and vinegar crisps, or chips, salt and vinegar chips, man. And I'm going to head straight to the gym, because like I said, I've got quite a lot of stuff to do, busy boy, so I need some quick and easy. Straight into the bloodstream and ready to smash, pull and shoulders. I'm not going to take you about, you've seen the workouts before, so I will see you at the post-workout meal. Just love diet life, so I do four rice cakes, 
in a protein bar for this hungry boy. Wow, exciting. Okay, we're back from the gym. We're back from a very big walk as well. I basically got all my steps in. Yeah, so we're nearly there. This workout's grand, so if you watch the channel, I usually stick with like a cereal with a protein shake. We're gonna get too arty farty or too sciencey or anything, but when we're in doing a weight session, our glycogen levels deplete, we lose a lot of nutrients, so a good way to replenish them quickly and fastly is through a fast-acting, kind of sugary, low-fat carbohydrate, so that's why cereal is always a pretty good option. But I remember in the very first lockdown, alright, so when COVID just came about, I get like proper obsessed with the gym. I would be up at like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning every morning, I'd go on a walk, get all my like 20,000 steps in at like 3, 4 in the morning, I'd come back, I'd do a session, I'd do like a hit skipping thing, and then after that would be the first time I would eat a meal, so that was all like fasted, and it, just, it wasn't healthy, do you know what I mean, it was far too much, like it, but it got me through like the lockdown, like some people got pure fat and they were like drinking loads and eating loads, but I was the complete opposite, I just used it to absolutely like sweat the gym and I got, I did get pretty shredded, I'll leave kind of like videos of what I was looking like, so I definitely did get shredded, but yeah, it just wasn't healthy, it was definitely far too much, but this is going to remind me, this post-workout meal is going to remind me of that time, alright, because what I used to have was, after every session I would have Cocoa Pops and I would have a Caramel Squares Bar and I'd like break it up and put it in the cereal and it was just, mmm, it was so good. So I'd have one of these Squares Bars and just break it up and then put it into El Cacao Popos. El Cacao Popos, so. So excited to eat this. A nice wee kind of chocolate fusion, some might say. It proper remind me of lockdown. It was such a weird time, like I can't believe it was basically like three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. I'm gonna scrap this. In fact, let, let's get let's get a live taste test of this because this is a pretty groundbreaking moment, honestly. Do you know what just love when things like this happen? Like you taste something or you smell something or you hear something and it like Reminds you of something ages ago, and you get this kind of overwhelming sense of euphoria. Don't know what I'm talking about. Mmm. So good. And when you're in such low calories and dieting, it's good just getting some sort of like a, a kind of chocolate fix. I'm gonna savour every wee rice crispy cocoa bean, whatever it is, and eat this, and I will see you at dinner. Dinner time, I'm at that stage of the diet where I'm just constantly thinking of the next meal. <laughs> next meal, when is the next time I can get fed? See, since I've been a young boy, I've always just been a big, hungry, fat bastard. Kind of, but I've always been hungry all the time, so the appetite is always there. Trust me, it doesn't really get much easier. <laughs> Again, we're a wee bit kind of later on in the day. I'm tired. I can't really be bothered cooking a big, massive, huge meal. I've been editing YouTube like all day, editing this video all day as well, so no TikTok recipes or anything today. I'm waffling, don't know why I'm waffling. I've got this mashed potato, so literally just bang it in the microwave. It's about just under 300 calories for the full pack, which is not bad, we're about kind of 5-6 gram of fat, so that's some pretty solid macros. And then the goat chicken, again, if you're a number one subscriber and watch all my previous videos and my previous full days of eating, this is the best chicken ever. Honestly, I have got a freezer full of it. I've got about 60 packs in the freezer. Muscle food, piri piri chicken in the marinade and it is honestly, mm, it is so, so good. I have it every single day of my life. I'll show you my freezer. All of these, it stretches all the way back to the end of the freezer. All of these up here. So I'm going to make this meal it's not really going to take long, to be fair, I just need to bang the chicken in the air fryer and then the mashed tortoise and the microwave. So I'm going to have that and I think I've got one more thing left, just like a Greek yogurt with some frozen berries and that will cap off my full day of eating nicely. And then I'm going to top it with the spicy piri chicken. Wow. That is absolutely superb. Got a good wee bit of veg there, some tender some broccoli and then Manja tout or manj tout? Don't know, who cares? That piri chicken wow with some mashed tortie. Bye!
Irish. Okay, turns out I don't have the calories for the yogurt or berries, so that last meal is just getting swiftly patched. Ignore that last segment of the video. I'm back on the YouTube grind. I'm back on the YouTube scene. I think with the YouTube, it's such like a slow burner, so it does take a while to see like your subscriber count grow and your views grow. So I think I was kind of getting myself down a wee bit when it wasn't picking up as fast as I would have liked it to, but I know that I would be kicking myself in a year's time if I just gave it up and didn't put all the effort into it because hopefully in a year's time it's picked up massively. So I'm going down to London for some work to meet up with some other big fitness influencers and I'm going to vlog everything, I'm going to vlog my trip to London. Fucking love going down to London, honestly what a place it is, some buzz when you go down there, everybody's just working 24-7 on the grind, I love it, I love it. So thank you again for sticking around to the end, for watching the video. If you liked it, please, please hit the like button. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. Turn my notifications on so you never, ever miss a video. And I will see you in London.